Jason with FNM Expressions. Showing examples of your past work is a great way to generate new business, but having piles of t-shirts lying around your shop can create clutter and send the wrong message. We've put together a quick tutorial to show you how to create inexpensive t-shirt display boards. These t-shirt display boards are lightweight, inexpensive, and really give a clean polished look to your shop. The boards can be displayed on a wall, you can frame them, or you can put them in a portfolio and take them with you to meetings. Let's jump into the tutorial. I've done some initial prep work uh, with our foam core boards and with the t-shirt material to get it set up to make our t-shirt display boards. First we have foam core that's 10 inches by 13 inches and on one side I've outlined it with double sided tape. Now I still have the protector on this side of the sticky tape so it's not tacky yet until I peel it off. I'm going to lay the sticky side face down and then I'm going to take my design that I cut out of my t-shirt material, just use leftover scrap t-shirt material, cut that down, and then align that over top of my board. Now, I'll peel back half of the board, shake my spray adhesive, make sure you're working in a well ventilated area, and if you notice, I'm working over top of a piece of cardboard I recommend using cardboard over top of newspaper because the newspaper can get sticky and it's lightweight. It'll tend to stick to uh, the t-shirt board or stick to the back of the t-shirt material. So cardboard has enough weight to sort of stay down and stay out of the way. I'll shake that. I'm going to spray half the board. And then I'm going to fold that half back over and smooth it out with my hand. Press out any wrinkles that may happen, and then fold the other half and repeat the process. Smooth it out. The spray adhesive dries a little slow, so you have time to smooth out any wrinkles that might happen or peel it back up. Then you can pick your board up remove the sticky cardboard and now I can flip my board, my board over work on a clean surface. I'm going to remove the spray adhesive or the uh, adhesive protectors from the double sided tape and then I'm going to start in every corner grabbing the corner first, pulling it up and pressing against the uh, double sided tape. Repeating the process in all four corners. And then I work from one side and try to evenly pull it tight as I can and press it against the double sided tape. Starting in the corners first will give you a nice clean edge to your display board. Now what I like to do to finish the display boards is come back with uh, some heavy duty duct tape and tape over top of the material on the back side and adhere it further to the uh, to the foam core board. So I'll come back with um, heavy duty duct tape and go over the top of the uh, board of the shirt that's stretched there. But you can see I now have a crisp board. It's got nice crisp edges that I can use to display in my shop to show off my work. It's lightweight, doesn't cost that much, and uh, it keeps a lot less clutter in your shop than you would have, um, let's say, if you're keeping bunches of t-shirts left over.